Hello and welcome to Marketing Resource and this demonstration on how to market your whatever, market your business, your passion, whatever, using the tools of Marketing Resource. So here's what we're going to cover in this demonstration. Social topics are random topics. They basically can be any thread. If you're talking about a Facebook group, for example, the the conversations can range from anything, from any any type of thing. And we have to be able to respond to those conversations. If we want to be able to market our stuff using marketing resource, we want to be able to respond quickly. And in fact, the tools of marketing resource enable you to do that. And that's what we're going to demonstrate today. And then we also want to cover uh, not only the speed and the randomness, but also connecting with people emotionally, the benefit of doing that. So let's talk about that for a second. We've talked about how we're going to bring people back to your storyboard on marketing resource. We've done some other de uh, videos demonstrating that. I'm going to go down here to inspirations where we've done before and I plugged in a a, uh, a link to a site talking about Thanksgiving meals and preparation, 30 different Thanksgiving meals. Now this could be anything, but we want it to be something emotional, something that everyone shares, has in common, because that identification is a very successful marketing strategy. If you think about Nike and what they do, they don't really ever even talk about uh, their tennis shoes. They connect with people about an emotional feeling of either commitment or success or victory or just suffering through a difficult era and overcoming. I mean, these are the threads that, that Nike taps into. They're all emotional threads. And so they connect with people and that's how they've become probably the world's leading marketing uh, company. And, and in the same way, even for financial advice, if you think about lately, TD Ameritrade has been advertising about fa financial analysts and they're not talking about the services of, of uh, what they provide. They're talking, they're promoting the, the emotional connection between a financial advisor and the potential client. So connecting emotionally can be done in a lot of different ways. And because you have a storyboard upon which you're, you're going to bring people back to, you can put all kinds of different uh, landing pages, landing panes for them to come and see. And remember, when they come and land on this storyboard, they see this, your name up here. All of this is your name. Your, uh, this wouldn't be there because you wouldn't be logged in, but this would be your name over here and your byline down here. So it would be all of your content plus the storyboard pane where they can click and find more information if they want, which would take them over here to this web page uh, that's over here. Okay. Now, so we realize that we can we can do that. We can we can connect with people in various different ways. And uh, so this time we're going to use Thanksgiving. And by the way, when we create this message on top of this pane one down here on the sixth menu over here of the storyboard, if next week when Thanksgiving is over and we come in here and we post something new in here, like say something about Christmas, which is coming up, then when that person clicks on the message that we're about ready to share uh, next week, they won't see a message about Thanksgiving. They'll see whatever you've plugged into this, this particular pane on this particular menu on your storyboard. So the content is always being updated. It's very easy to update as you've seen in other videos. Now, so let's talk about uh, why we would um, why we would respond quickly to social threads. Here, I'm going up here to this uh, Facebook group here. Now, if you take a look here, this particular person an hour ago posted something that already has 237 emoticons responses and 32 comments. That means that there is roughly 200 people that would get notifications on anything that you comment on anything that you put into as a reply, a comment 
to this topical thread that she has put in there. Now, she's put in something about her concern about uh, some biopsies that she's getting a response back on. And so this is a very emotional thread. It's dealing with that. So there's a lot of these praise and we're praying for you and uh, all of this. And you could add something in there if you wanted. You could share something about how somebody has overcome cancer or whatever. Of course, that would be a little presumptuous. You don't really know if she's even facing that. But, but the point being is that you can actually create very dynamic, interesting uh, content that would be much more than just a one or two sentence or, a, or one or two word or a one sentence response with an emoticon. If I scrolled this uh, page down, you would see that there's another post that's been up there for maybe two or three days. It's dealing with uh, the new Tesla truck and it's got like 400, over 400 comments and uh, various different emoticon responses as well. So there's another thread that if you post or, or if you uh, reply to it, whatever you put into that reply would go into the notification boxes for all of those people. Now, this is a great way of being able to get right into people's notifications. I mean, you're almost guaranteed that they're going to read that response and see what it is. And uh, so how do we create a message that would uh, quickly, I guess is what, we, what we're going to say. We know we can create whatever message we want, but can we create it fast enough and uh, make it important and valuable enough to where people will click on it and which will bring them back to the storyboard? And the answer obviously is yes, because Marketing Resource has those tools. So here we are back on our page and we're back sitting on the menu and the window pane upon which we want to build the social message. And the social message, I'm just gonna use an example for monarch butterflies, okay? That's a random topic. Um, and I just did a simple Google search, as you can see right here, and there's something from National Geographic, and there's also one from actually monarchbutterfly.com. So I just, uh, right clicked on that and I opened it up in a new tab and that tab is this tab right here and here is the image that goes with the the story and the content that flows down below and then I also went to Vimeo and did a quick search for monarch butterflies on Vimeo. Vimeo is known for producing uh, really interesting high high quality content and so they have this nice six minute video over here that goes into all the details of the monarch butterfly, right? So that's great, interesting. This is what I'm talking about, about how you can deepen the web, provide more interesting content. Uh, it's worth your time because you're bringing them back to your, your um, storyboard. So let me see, let me close this out. I wanna do this first. I'm gonna go back over here to this, to the page that we found and I'm going to copy that URL. Then I'm going to go back over here to our page and I'm going to start the process of creating the message by clicking on this button. You can see here now we're on the right menu, we're on the right pane. So we'll open it up. And we'll start a message. Before you've seen me go into the history, this time we're going to create a new message. There's documentation on how to do all of this. You can do as much as three web pages uh, for a particular message, which is really interesting. I'll leave that to you to go discover uh, in the other video tutorials. I already have that URL on my clipboard, so I'll just go ahead and paste it and it will collect it. And I'll go ahead and type in the title I wanna use. I'll just type in something like Monarch Butterflies, make it simple. And when the monarchs are out flying, <clears throat> there's usually thousands of them. So I'll just say thousands of them with an exclamation point. And there it is. There's my title. There's my response. And I'll just go ahead and, and create that.
Now at this point, we can go in and do any kind of editing. We, we almost really don't have to do any editing. You could actually just share that just like that. You could, you could uh, copy that URL and, and post that into the comment and there you go. But let's just spend a couple of seconds here and we'll just maybe enlarge and enlarge the text there for that. You don't even need to enlarge and enlarge this, but let's just say we do and uh, we'll do that. And this right here, this is an example of somebody who didn't quite have their page set up right, so it didn't have a description, but that's fine. We'll just hide it and we'll do that. The link is still there to the actual article. And let's say we want to do that video that I showed you earlier, the Vimeo video. So I'm just going to open this up. Again, that's documented on how we do that. It's just a double click. And here I'm going to come over here and open up that uh, share tool. Click inside the embed, which is selected for me. And then I'll copy it. Come back over here. This is all very simple stuff. And I'm just going to control V and paste that. Uh, code in there and the system will recognize it as a video and we'll we'll load it up and we'll just scale it down so that it can fit in here maybe we'll move this over a little bit and that's it right <clears throat> now what I want to do is I before I take a photograph I want to tell them that there's a video in here so I'll just do another double click and uh, let it select it and then I'll just type six minute video so they know that there's a six minute video in here. And I'll choose a heading to make the text a little bigger and slide it in and put it right here. And that's it. I mean, there's a nice, a nice response, right? That didn't take me but maybe a minute or two. And I'll go ahead and take a picture of it. <clears throat> Now, I'm not moving my cursor. This is just the system. It's not using your computer's camera. You don't have to give any uh, permissions or anything. This is all just software code. So there it is. It pulls up the image. That will be the image that represents it in the timeline. Now, in this case, remember we were talking about over here, what we would do is we would share this into the comment. So we would click on comment and we would paste the URL to this actual message. I'm not going to go ahead and do that obviously right now, but in order to do that, you see this right here? It says copy URL to the clipboard. So you would just click on that and you actually have now, it's sitting on your, your clipboard. So you could just go ahead and paste that into the comments section and you're good to go. But what we're going to go ahead and do is because we want to see it on Facebook for demonstration, I'll go ahead and click on the Facebook link. <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll go ahead and post it up there so we can see it. And I'll go ahead and post it on my example page that I have that I use, MRO examples, and we'll post it. <clears throat> now, I could go up and go to the MRO examples page here, but this is a logged in browser as you've seen in other tutorials. So let me go over here to this Firefox browser that I have here and let me reload this. This is the same page, but looking at it inside of a browser that's not logged in to marketing resource because we want to be able to demonstrate what it looks like when a normal user would come along and click on it. So there's our link right there. And as we've said before, this would be all your content down here. This is your information, not marketing resource. When you become a subscriber, this is your information. This would be what it looks like, but in the comment section of that actual thread that's going on on that Facebook post that I showed you. So I'll click on it. The first thing you see is it's navigating to a city that you are aware of. You most likely know what that city is. It tells you that it's a local, uh, a local matter. It's coming in from somebody that's in your area. 
and there you go there's no screen or anything and um, and you could click on here and play the video and if you September, added more text you could Eerie, you could uh, you Canada, could do that if you want a monarch butterfly is fueling up on nectar okay interesting so and then again keep in mind this is all your information up here as well so when you close it out you end up seeing your storyboard and you end up being navigated to the pane that we were on when we started to create this and that's how you would a that's how you would be able to respond quickly to a comment to a thread on any kind of a facebook uh, group or a uh, Twitter hashtag thread or Instagram and you create and share more interesting content and at the same time connect with people emotionally over a shared experience of Thanksgiving dinner and at the same time expose the fact that you are this particular person this would be your information and at the same time you're one little scroll away and they would pop up this information about what it is you do for uh, an economic stream of income thank you for watching this tutorial